Hello and welcome to the tug of war. We get started with Nigma versus Ninjas in pajamas in the best of three series. Oh, PPD in some trouble. GH running him down. He's got the bash of the deep, and that's going to be a first blood coming through. Finally, they try to make something happen up here in the top lane and succeed. Successful rotation here. And I mean, to be honest, there's something particularly underwhelming about a uh, Slada rotation, isn't there? Just kind of comes slithering into the lane, stuns him up, and we just like, yeah, I don't know. But Kuro's coming in as well. This could spell danger. Split Earth comes down. Tana, he should get brought down here, surviving just a long time enough here for Lyon to come in. But unfortunately, the stun comes out. Tana is dead. And Nigma, they're hunting for more here. They want to bring down Universe. The stuns are coming out. The damage is there. They're going to find themselves a second. PPD still trying to fight up into this one, trying to find something out of this engagement, but there's nothing to find. Yeah, does see it though, so he can, he can take it if needs be. Look for a bit of aggression here. PPD gonna make it over to the DD. Does find it. Now gonna start laying in the hut. Oh, okay. Laguna Blade comes down. Good night, GH. That is one roasted fishy. When he gets that Diffuser Blade, because he has this double bracer, it's gonna mean he can you know, get involved with these fights early on. The hack. GH dropping pretty low here though as PPD comes in. They're gonna be able to surge him up, but the hack just chasing on forward with the Phantom Rush. Looks like GH is gonna survive for now. They'll turn their attention to Mind Control, but he's got too much health. He's gonna have to spear GH away, but Mind Control's still on top of him with this Iron Shell just ticking him away. Let us see. I think he might be out of options here. They're gonna keep on chasing a TP coming in from Tana. Let us like running out of health down to nothing. That's why if you get off the light strike away onto the dark sea. Has the Laguna if he wants to throw it out. Universe is here as well, and he's gonna use that to very nicely just to search him out. Light strike array to follow up as well, they've got the Laguna, don't need to use it though, Dragon Slayer's gonna finish off the kill, GH goes down and NIP find yet another kill up here in the top lane. That said, it is only 5 for 5, that was a trade as well. And he uses the Tome, just hits level 6 on the Shadow Demon, so we are gonna be obeying this pretty hard as well, we thinks he's safe but in they go, in comes Disruption, have those stunned up Tana, so the follow-up stun from him is not gonna be there, but looks like Lelis will be able to do it, Hand of God gonna keep we are a little bit alive, meanwhile Tana going for the TPL, and PPD with the trees, gonna save the day, thank you Captain, and now, well, it looks like the Shadow Demon's one in trouble, as he's got that Corrosive Haze on swim right now, Mind Control's gonna run him down, Universe will drop, meanwhile Lelis, he's in some trouble as well, he's gonna go, as Nigma gets themselves two return kills, and now the Chronosphere coming down onto Lina as well, whereas the follow-up, do they need it. it looks like GH is going to come in flying over with the stun. They bring down Tana. Nigma have found some pace here. They found themselves three huge kills in the middle lane. Some cute plays from NIP, but not enough to turn things in their favour. Still very Nigma favoured. And yeah, we might have a plus one here as he's forced to use the, the uh, jump. But gets himself a safety. Okay, so they've seen another one, and PPD stepping too far forward. He's going to get taken down as well. NIP needs to pull it together here. They are giving away way too much in this middle lane. Really need to be cognizant when you're playing against the Slada. This is one of the biggest threats on the map. Is this Roshan can just go down to pretty much any team. I think they are getting started now. NIP know about this one. They've got the arena flood to throw in here as well. PPD just come in and throw it in the trees to give them vision. DH though, jumping straight over towards PPD. Gonna take him out the final side lines already. Lelis coming into the pit. He's gonna throw down the arena, try and disrupt things a little bit. Roshan is low, as is Dark Sea. They're fighting up into the middle of this one. Can they bring them down? Chronos Fake comes out. We have mind control. They're both alive. Roshan gets a mind control. And we will go down to the point of universe. But the hack is gonna know. He jumps down. DH trying to follow him down here. Will be able to grab that kill. Meanwhile, GH gonna a double here as they get the net out onto the mask and in comes Miracle. Hey guys, how's it going? Takes down Lelis as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit different when you've got a Chen because this guy just does hit jungle creeps a little bit more than most, but yeah. Ooh, uh, GH could be in some trouble now. The Diffusal Blade's out onto him. He's going to turn around with Corrosive. Mind Control coming in as well. He's going to give him that surge and that is just going to be one very far. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. Look at him go. <laughs> this isn't even a river. I, don't, I do not want to see a surge of Slardar in the river, I don't think. Yeah, they've got the duels, they've got Life Strike Array, Lelis coming over as well, got a stick, throw in as well, they're just gonna use the Laguna to make sure this one goes down, but Nigma, they see an opportunity right now, but they don't have a Chrono Spit, they do have an Aegis, meanwhile, Mind Control being a of oh my god, the damage coming into Wee, from the high ground, Tanner's just right, clicking him up, can they finish the job? Yes, they can, down goes Weeha, meanwhile, the arena's not gonna get much done, but PPD actually finished off by Miracle Kuro, taken out as well, meanwhile, Mind Control getting called up right now, as he gets Godric's huge back, Life Strike Array gonna come down as well, it's gonna be another kill for NIP, the hack. He's got this defusal plate and he is turning up to this bottom lane fight. Four heroes down the side of Nick. But just no, they've been going really well for us, but what's oh, going on here right now? It's both Tana and GH getting stunned on the front lines. And look at the damage coming down. They've got the corrosive haze on, but now with Perth coming down onto GH, the Gunnar Blade coming down as well. And Lennon's got a god to keep him off. Meanwhile, DVD does get run down by Wee, so they get at least one return kill.
well, but they should. Oh, Chronos. Chronos here on the back lines. They're going to be able to take down Tanner here. They do have the damage. Miracle gets one. Now with Arena of Blood just trying to control up Wii, but Wii is in control right now. Miracle coming in as well, and this looks like Lelis is going to go down to make it a second kill for Miracle up here in the top lane, and he's looking for number three, and with one bash, he will get it. Miracle with the triple, doesn't even use his Aegis. This is a Battle Fury Void, by the way, just rocking up these fights and dominating. Uh, we talked about it with the Chen being able to pull people across the map. I feel like the moment, as well. the moment they must slow down, this is what's going to happen. And again, in the mid lane as well, they're looking for GH right now. Instruction's going to come out. They're just seems to have top of the fuse because they're trying to give Lelis space to come into this one. Oh, doesn't quite make it to the tree, though. GH is going to live. And in some illusions, just to scout the way. Miracle's like, hmm, well, something's wrong here. Oh, they're going to go on the back lines. Yes, yeah, Lada control up. It's a great target. Can they finish the job? No, and the going to heal him up so, so much. Let us boom walk in his way away from Miracle. There's so much damage coming out. Laguna even coming out onto GX. So finally finish the job. Another Chrono down onto Tana. He's got a BKB as well with the walls coming down. Suck them both in. Down goes Lala. So it looks like Tana's had the same way. He's got no escape. Let's track away, but the BKB Miracle going to keep on chasing. Meanwhile, the hack trying to control up this fight, trying to get something done. But with Weeha, mind control, everybody all around him right now. Going to try and go for the TP out here. There is no split up, and they don't have anything else to deal with him here. So he is going to be able to get himself to safety. You know, I, I do think it's worth mentioning. Oh, TP didn't hold it. Okay. Alright. I do think it's worth mentioning though how they're kind of abusing the global presence here and kind of finding oh universe. Universe, don't get back. Oh, I've got a Alright. See you later. Sure, but why not? Looking for more here. He wants to hack. And he might well find him. The rest of his team coming over here. The uh yeah, gangers. Yeah, I mean, he's not scared. Miracle, he's gonna pop the BKB as well. Lena is a bit of a bad position, but they are focusing on the PL right now. The Laguna comes down onto Miracle, but he just heals it all away. See you later. Time walk out, hand of God as well. No, 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 please. Do get themselves up to the high ground. Looks like. For now. Oh, they're going back in though. It's a hack. He's looking onto the back lines here. He doesn't have that much mana to play with. Meanwhile, PPD is gonna get run down by Weeha, so that's gonna be the first kill here. Let's telescope as well for the extra cast range. So get his racks off, get his walls off. Ooh. They caught the chair. Uh, trying to go on to Kuro here, but we know how tanky this guy is. Even the arena coming down, GH and Kuro is happy to run around with it. Miracle jump in the back line, spines DPD. Stun does land out onto him. They want to follow up here. Tana goes for the good, but like, actually counts it in the last second. Now the Chrono comes down. Well, now goes Shadow Demon, but there's a DPD and a Chrono committed to him. Never mind, they get DPD as well. Okay, that's probably worth it's, it. I mean, very hard it's a Chen with a Vlad Solar. Oh my god, they're trying to unleash onto the faceless boy, but they're gonna keep him alive. And a great back wall coming down onto three. We hard dealing the damage as well. Lelis gonna get chewed up and spat out. Tata heading the same way as well under his tier fours, getting finished up. And all of a sudden, they might just know what they want to be doing. Yeah, they have a lot more schools in their box, and PPD TV's in the middle of everybody and ends exactly the way you'd expect it to. The hack in some trouble as well, trying to get himself all out of way. Gonna turn around, trying to use his double to keep himself alive. Doesn't have buyback. He's not he's 25 gold short. Just trying to fight up into them right now, but they have got the damage to bring him down. Does have a buyback. Gonna pop it. Get himself back into the game. Meanwhile, Universe trying to do something here, but what are NMP actually trying to do here as they backing them down to the low ground? Hello, boys. Come and fight us. Let us try to fight up with this BKB to hack on the sideline. So just getting controlled up as they jump the back lines, find Tanner to hack as well in some trouble. They're going to be able to get through him, and this might be the end of Nigma are just running him around in circles. The hack going to make it down to the low ground. Stun comes out, damage is there. The hack is dead. Meanwhile, the Mars also in similar difficulties. Miracle comes in, and that's going to be an ultra kill, ending the game with a GG from NIP. Game number one, and it goes to Nigma. Yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. I mean. I, I think I have to point out GH this game. You want to be in the upper bracket to make it as easy as possible Ten to qualify seconds. to the playoffs. It's as simple as that. Wins the 50-50 oh, with the coin toss. Time control though, getting low up and top with the rotation in from Universe. They're able to draw first blood. Oh, once again, jumping onto the Spectre up here in the top lane. They don't seem to have the lockdown to finish the job, but once again, the hack being forced into the tower, 19 and 1. Kuro, yeah, they could get the return. Lift up, throw back to hack coming over. It does have enough mana for a dagger if you pop that mango. It looks like Kuro's kind of accepted his death right now and will be dropping here. Yeah, especially with, with, uh, with Miracle. See you later, maybe. Jump totem damage coming out. I mean, that is that damage. They're gonna have to do it with right clicks, and with the one coming out, yeah, it looks like PPD making on the tower. Mind control still chasing the scatter blast wolf through the job to hack, unable to keep his captain alive. Yeah, and now, because Miracle's taken bar, 
Oh, surely they can finish him this time around. Surely Miracle could die, but once again, the Requiem getting interrupted. Ice Path comes out. Miracle has thrown everything they've got at him, but he's just going to timber chain himself way to empty. Now in comes Mind Control. Throw it in the artillery. Tanner getting run down. Trying to duke it out. Not able to use it, but a miracle coming down the back lines, but it's not catch and spare and they will finish the job. But Tana is dead as Mind Control comes to win the scatter blast. Now they look towards PPD as well. PPD is gonna get dropped as a second kill. They lose the Timber Saw, but they grab themselves two kills in response, and one of those being Tana. Comparison to what they want from him. And he has a tone on shape here, so he can get level six to get the echo. Yeah, don't worry about that, especially because of the Invis room. Smith on far, but once again, not actually taken down a tree that got destroyed there. Miracle in some trouble now. Done. Yeah, it's finished. Oh, no chance to get away from that one. Five heroes on one, and IP are able to kill off the Timber Sword at the very least. You just farm so slowly. Looking but once again, you know, they'll find Miracle for a second time, maybe, although he does manage to get off the Timber Chain here. Warrior Blood's gonna come down though, but nice Fisher coming out from GH, and now, uh oh, uh oh, the artillery! Oh no, it's a disaster! NIP get destroyed by the artillery! Miracle, it just annihilates them! Fisher from GH as well, Jesus Christ, Snapfire, what a hero! And it feels like in both games it's been completely answered, right? We have the PL first game into the void in the left. In this game there's a spectre that's just getting run at by a Miko and a Tim. Just now, onto the high ground we go, and this is gonna be PPD dead to rights, jumped in, killed off. Nigma gets started on the tower. I mean, Meepo as well, just sending his clones back one by one to the base. The hack netted up. The sniper comes through from GH as well. The ultimate, though, got to come in from Tana. Maybe they can bring down the Meepo's first life here. They really need to try and get something a nice arena. Coming down from Lelis as well. They're really trying to focus up Wee, but Wee, he's going to be okay. The damage, 100 HP, 70 HP. Wee what? Hardo <laughs> is going to make it. Okay, all right. Universe says enough. Gets the Fissure out, but I mean, it's just the first life. Three's behind them as well. Just make it a nice Beep, and in they go. Jumping straight on forwards onto two. Down goes. Tanner, he's getting killed very, very quickly. Universe as well, gonna get finished off as well. Enigma, they aren't not actually gonna get the belly marks for now unless they fight. Oh no, oh no, the Nets inside. Oh no, the Nets inside the Shakram. Oh Jesus Christ. All right, Enigma. All right, Nigma, you're just showing off at this stage. Four heroes dead. Shadow Fiend died back. Nigma, they see the opening. They're going for the tier four three man defense with the Ring of Terras Spectre. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to quite happen as the universe gets blown up on the front lines. BPD, going to be the next target as well. A bit of artillery coming in over the top, but that's going to be a GG's thrown out, and uh, the game will go and the series to Nigma. Very, very good performance. If they'd have got the tower at the end, all of Pigman's heroes would have been top five. Yeah, that's what I was, I was hoping.